Today, in honor of our first president, the National Museum of Dentistry partied like it was 1799. The museum hosted a party to celebrate George Washington, whose birthday is this coming Thursday. A chemical spill causes a scare on the campus of Johns Hopkins University today. It happened just before 8 o'clock this morning. Thank you, Vitas. Big news out of Cuba today. After ruling the country for almost 50 years, Fidel Castro steps down. Governor O'Malley is taking aim at global warming. He's endorsing a long-term plan to reduce greenhouse gases, but not everybody in Annapolis is jumping on the bandwagon. John Rydell has more on that. Barack Obama takes on a sensitive and controversial issue in a major speech today. But is it really over? Can Obama put Wright's comments behind him and how will it affect the campaign from here on out? Keith Daniels live in our newsroom with that part of the story. When you buy things on the internet, do you know who's selling? You might want to find out. One Baltimore man learned that lesson the hard way. A year ago, Baltimore's crime was skyrocketing. It's a much different picture today. Homicides and shootings are down drastically for the first quarter of this year. Senator Ted Kennedy is resting in the hospital as doctors try to figure out what caused his seizure yesterday. The search is on tonight for two women who brutally attacked four people this weekend in Federal Hill. Tonight, crime and justice reporter Steve Levine has learned why city crime cameras were not rolling when violence hit this normally quiet neighborhood. Well, you couldn't ask for much better weather for Memorial Day. Weather specialist Jessica Starr is here with the first look at the Skywatch forecast. A good effort by Johns Hopkins today, but they fell short. Uh, Bruce Cunningham joins us with highlights. With the cost of electricity continuing to soar, the search continues for alternative sources of energy. Could Maryland's favorite vacation spot hold the answer? John Rydell has more. The wind farm off the coast of Delaware is expected to be up and running by the year 2012. She's been accused of killing a husband and a boyfriend. She spent time in prison for elaborate theft schemes. She even faked her own death. Now, Cindy McKay is headed back to prison again. A popular DJ at a Baltimore radio station is dead, and tonight co-workers and fans are remembering her. A follow-up tonight to a story you saw first on Fox this weekend. Several pounds of explosives have been removed from the shoreline of a Severna Park neighborhood. But as Melinda Rota reports, the controversy behind it all is still very much burning. Fire officials say the tubes inside the rocks were not actually dynamite, but were filled with a low-density explosive paste that is used to blast big rocks. Well, the presidential election may be scheduled for November 4th, but a third of voters could actually cast their ballots before Election Day. Judy Kurtz has more in tonight's Word on the Web. Judy. Vandals disturbed the peace at a Howard County cemetery, destroying more than 100 years of history. Police say they are not ruling out making more arrests. Well, tonight, police search for the man who tried to kill a senior citizen in Parkville last night. The woman was shot when someone tried to carjack her at a senior citizen's apartment complex. She's recovering tonight. Kathleen Cairns has more on this story. A winner has been declared in one of the two remaining states that was too close to call. President-elect Barack Obama wins the state of North Carolina. The last Democrat to win that state was Jimmy Carter. Well, the stock market continued to fall today. It started out a little higher this morning on news of China's bailout program, but the good news didn't last. The Dow ended the day down about 73 points. And now what to do about the car industry on the brink of bankruptcy. Joy LaPola joins us with that story tonight. Joy. 